what's up guys welcome to my channel if you are new yet my name is divine i'm a musical five minominak drummer and a keyboardist i have been for many many years i started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so so fantastic make sure you follow us on instagram at the perseverance reaction in order to recommend the favorite singers for us to react to What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Yeah. Today, guys, we're back again to the video, guys. My name is Devan, and welcome to the Perseverance, Perseverance, guys. Today, we're going to be reacting to Prophet Muhammad. It's mentioned in the Bible. It reminds me. Uh, this is totally a different video, uh, and I would love to check this out. I would love to see the first, the proof, uh, and I would love to watch another video proving that Prophet Muhammad is in the Bible. Uh, I just want to pay attention and listen and know more. The more you know, the more you have your eyes are being open towards reality with it looks like. You know how it is, guys? Exactly. Talk less about it or react more. Let's get into this video. I have read the Bible through many, many, many times. And others such as I have read it many more times, much more educated than I could ever be, understanding both Hebrew and Greek. Uh, Mohammed is not mentioned in the Old Testament. With this countless number of reading, the man doesn't see it. How can that be? I said, you see, what has happened is this. First, that Muhammad is mentioned by name in the original scriptures. The Old Testament, according to Christian authorities, was preserved in the Hebrew language. And the New Testament in Greek scriptures. Greek language. In the Old the Testament, language. in the Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16, in the Hebrew language, it reads, Hikko mamittakim vi kullo muhammadim zehdudi vi zehrei bainat Jerusalem. Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16. The word muhammadim is muhammad im im i am im. Im is a plural of respect in Hebrew. You see the first verse of the Bible, book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 1. It says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The word God in Hebrew there is Elohim. Mm, that's true. In Hebrew, Ella stands for God. Elohim is a plural form to say with all respect and respect reverence. And reverence. Plural of that's respect. In all Eastern languages, including Arabic and Hebrew, there are two types of plurals, plural of respect as well as numbers. In the Quran also we find the very same thing. Like the verse Allah says, Inna nahnu nazzalna dhikra wa inna lahu lahafizun. That it is for us to send down the revelation and it is for us to protect it. Who is this us? Ask any Muslim, who is this us? Is Allah? Jibreel and Muhammad, like Father, Son, and Holy Ghost? No. But is as who is us? When we are told in the Holy Quran, Qul huwa Allahu ahad, say he is Allah the one and only. Here he's talking about as. No Arab Christian has ever asked the Muslim, I said the Arab Christian, has ever asked the Muslim, who is this as? Because he knows in his language, there are two types of plurals. Plural of numbers and plural of respect. This as is like in royal proclamations, you have plural of respect. We have decreed, says the queen. We. Who is this we? Not she and her husband and her, her son. No, no, no. It's standing for herself. Out of respect. Plural. So Elohim is a plural of respect. Im. El is God. Ella is God. Elohim is more than one of respect. Ask any Jew. This is his book. 
Ask him what is this im? He said, look, in my language, this is the plural of respect. God is one, but out of respect we speak like that. Im. He says, Muhammad im. Muhammad im. Plural of respect. Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16. Yes, the name Muhammad does show up. It does say Muhammadim, but the name Muhammad is very plainly in the text. The word is there in the Hebrew language. In the original, what they call original, it's there. But they have translated that in English as altogether lovely. So this beloved of mine is altogether lovely. When you read altogether lovely, you can't associate with the word Muhammad. You read it a thousand times, altogether lovely, altogether lovely. Or let's say in another language, the praised one, the praised one. Muhammad means the praised one. But he said the praised one, the praised one. You can't think that he's talking about Muhammad. Though Muhammad means the praised one. You have no right to translate names of people. Anybody. Your name should be retained. Mr. Black is Mr. Black. Though he's white. You have no right to translate names of people. But they have been doing that. Muhammad Im, they translated as altogether lovely. But the word Muhammad is there in the Hebrew language in the origin. So we said, look, you have lost the name Jesus Christ, according to the Holy Quran says, Wa is qala Isa bin Maryama. It says, Behold, Jesus, the son of Mary, said, Ya Bani Israel, O children of Israel, Inni Rasulullah ilaykum. So, most certainly, I am the messenger of God sent to you all. Musaddiqan lima bayna yadaya min at-tawrati. Confirming the revelation which came before me. Wa mubashiran bi rasuli ya'ti min ba'd ismuhu Ahmad. And giving you glad tidings of a messenger to come after me whose name shall be Ahmad which is another name for Muhammad Muhammad and Ahmad are synonymous terms for this mighty messenger of God Ahmad that is what the Quran tells us but Christian says look it's not, it's not in my book it's not here there's no Ahmad and there's no Muhammad so you are left with no alternative but to analyze what is there. You see, they have a verses in the Bible, in the Gospel of St. John, chapter 16, where it says, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth, Jesus says. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I go, I will send him. And when he is come, he will convict the world in respect of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Of sin because they believe not in me and on and on. He says, if I don't go, the comforter will not come unto you. We say that comforter is Muhammad. The same chapter, he says, I have yet many things to say unto you. But you cannot bear them. Nah, you haven't got that capacity. How be it? When he, the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth. Spirit of truth. Who is the spirit of truth? Ask the Christian. Is the Holy Ghost. How be it? When he, the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth. 
for he shall not speak from himself, but what things so shall he hear, that shall he speak. And he shall declare unto you the things that are to come. He shall glorify me. So who is the spirit of truth? They say the Holy Ghost. I said, all right, if this is the Holy Ghost, tell us now, what new things has he given you in the past 2,000 years? He said, Jesus said, I have yet many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. But before we expound this aspect, let me reread to you this verse with a little emphasis on the pronouns. He says, I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. Nah. How be it? When he, the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak from himself. But what things shall he hear, that shall he speak, and he shall declare unto you the things that are to come, he shall glorify me. Eight masculine pronouns. I say, it ill befits a ghost. You agree? That is a man, a man, a man, a man. Eight times. There is not another verse in the whole Bible with eight masculine pronouns, or eight feminine gender, or eight neuter genders. There isn't. This is a unique verse for a unique personality, Muhammad. Man, 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 not a ghost, not a spook. But we are told he's a spirit. Is Muhammad a spirit? I say yes. That's what your Bible says. You see, every time the word spirit is used in your Bible, I'm telling the Christian, it doesn't stand for the Holy Ghost. Because in the book of Revelation, the last book of the Bible, it, we are told that seven spirits of God went out into the world. I said, you believe in seven Holy Ghosts? He says, no, there's only one Holy Ghost. I said, look, it's seven spirits. It means it should be seven Holy Ghosts. No, spirit doesn't stand for Holy Ghost every time. Then in the same John, the same John, in the first epistle of John, he says, Beloved, believe not every spirit. But try the spirits whether they are of God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. False prophet is a false spirit. True prophet is a true spirit. The same John is using spirit for a prophet. Don't believe every spirit. Don't believe in every prophet. Saint John, in the Gospel of Saint John, he says, he says, he that is born of spirit is spirit. And he that is born of the flesh is flesh. Yes. So do spirits beget? Do they cohibit? He says, no. Then how can you be born of spirit? No. What it means there is that who is spiritually inclined is spiritual. Who is materialistically inclined is flesh. What brought you here tonight? Some kind of gift that you were expecting from D-Dad? You know, he's going to give you some sweet meats. What? Some chocolate? Is that what brought you here? If that was the case, and suppose I give it out to you, you are materialistically inclined. Material things brought you here. So you are a materialist. In the language of the Bible, you are fleshy, you are of the flesh. Materialist. If it was spiritual consideration, motivation that brought you here, then you are spiritual. The gospel language, say he that is born, means the thing that motivates you, that brings you up into being. If it is spirit, spiritually, then you are a spirit. And if you are fleshly, you are flesh. Material, you are flesh. Right here, the way he broke it down, like I'm so amazed right now, and I'm shocked because he just spoke out from my own mouth. It's scripture, it was really 
I'm familiar with them. Whatever he was saying, I am familiar with them. Like, he was, how should I put it? It feels so real for me, guys. And so convincing. Like, there's no question who you show this video to or who won't believe. Like, this is so convincing. Is there something that I've been taking out from the Bible that we don't know? That is just the thought right there. Because the, Mo the Muhammadin he was talking about in plural form, it's according to the translation over there, each and every translation he put right there was Tishri Muhammad. But it was being converted. Not together, love. Not together, love. Like, how does that correspond? Like, how does that correspond? Like, I still don't get it. Well, I feel it would have been nicer if they were converting, they converted to Mohammed. Yeah, it would be nice if if its name, it should be named. Yeah, not the meaning of it. Yeah, it's not the meaning of it, it should be the name. It's like you converting Jesus Christ, or converting, should I use Emmanuel, God with yeah, us. The, right. You just say God with us, Emmanuel, you say God with us. Because if it, if that has a name, it should be the name. I don't know why they convert the Hebrew word to English using the okay. meaning of the name as what we should know. Because... Christians find it very hard to locate Muhammad. Like, it's kind of like impossible unless being showed and proven. Like any Christian asks, is Muhammad in the Bible? No. Hundred, they would definitely tell you no, guys. Because it was, it is not there. But we never know. We are just figuring this out right here, and just like an eye opener. I am really surprised to see Muhammad name again in the Bible because I watched a video of some similar kind of like, like this boy a different video that they prove that Muhammad name is in the Bible and I don't know why they converted it like you can convert different things like flower birds not human names because they are history and be you removing them it's gives people different perspective of who Muslims are, or who Muhammad is. It's, it's just so surprising for me discovering this. Uh, the more I, I watch, the more I'm, I am just eye open, the more I'm knowing more, the more I feel like there are things that have been hidden for me, right? Ever since, that things that it's not been opened out to me. The word he, he, eight times. Eight times. It's not just once. Eight times. I know Jesus, when he lived, he brought in the Holy Spirit. Because that is what I was taught ever since I was a little child. And that's what I grew up with. Because the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. That is what I know. That is what I was being brought up with. And that is what I believe in me. But him coming over here to come and dispute that Father, Jesus Christ, is, that the Holy Spirit is Muhammad. And giving us reasons and proof. And even breaking down my own Bible that I have at home for me. In, in the simpler terms that I've never thought about before. It's it's just so unbelievable, kind of. It's an eye-opener for me. I'm really shocked by this, guys. I'm really shocked at this. What do you think so far? I feel you give honor to who honor is due. It's due, yeah. So if Mohammed was supposed to be right there in the Bible, when you translate it, it should be very, very lovely and very honorable for them to use his name. Write his name there. I don't know. I really because don't know why they took it off. The first time I heard that Mohammed was in the Bible was when we watched a video of the lady when she was... Yeah, she was like... Uh, uh, Mohammed is in the Bible. Bible. She was a Christian before then yeah, she converted, she converted to, Muslim. to Muslim. So I feel it should be there because a lot of us, we speak English, we read with English. So if you're translating it to an English version and you're taking off what is in the Bible, yeah. like you're, I feel it's the same because they say do not add... Or, or remove, remove anything in the book, Word book. of God. Because yeah. if you're removing or you're adding, you're... Like you're just changing the purpose of the Bible itself. Yeah. You're, you're not doing the right. You're confusing so, millions and billions of people. Yeah, that is very, very wrong. So I feel it shouldn't have been taken out and it shouldn't have been altered. Yeah, it shouldn't have been altered. Okay, they didn't take it out. They altered it. Yeah, it shouldn't have been altered. They would have just left the name. You don't give the meaning of the name. You give the name. It's like your name is divine, and they say yeah. excellent. Like you don't. You just remove his name from the word. Excellent is just anything, like, yeah, it can be he's excellent. Yeah. But he is divine. 
that's his name you don't take it off so i really do enjoy this video i really love the fact that they gave me an eye opening and i'm happy to hear that Muhammad is in the bible like i always say this that christianity and islam they're very very religious Similar, because when yeah. i watch a lot of islam videos, i'm like we know this too in christian we know this thing in the bible is in the bible and stuff like that so you know Muhammad is still in the bible it just it's it's nice i really like it it's really good i really do enjoy and um, this man over here, 100% I respect him. Yeah. And I'm really glad I watched this video. And I'm definitely going to share this video to as many people who feel like Muslim, who feel like Muhammad is not in the Bible. Like, yeah. I'm going to prove them wrong because this was just an eye opener for me. And it's so good. It's so beautiful. I don't read in Hebrew, I read in English. So it's, it's, it's somehow for for me to go back to go and be reading in Hebrew yeah. because it's going to confuse me because I really don't understand Hebrew but I understand the, the translated word like people altering the word because they're trying to convert it to English for people to understand then removing a historical name it's it baffles me it's so shocking why that is just the reason like why that is the question guys that's coming up in the first time watching this. How's your reaction? Give us a thumbs up. Share this video as many as can subscribe to the channel, guys. You know how it is. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay. See you. I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, just in my bed. I got scales on.